Well, I'm, I've got quite a good tip for you guys if you want to find some diamonds in Minecraft. It's quite simple. All you have to do basically is sort of mine down like I have been here and stop as soon as you hit bedrock, which is here, and then start mining to the sides and everything. And then that's how I found diamonds, but um, I don't really use this spot to mine anymore because I just randomly go and I start mining anywhere else now, really, anywhere that looks good. But um, also there's another tip, just make two seconds, just make sure I'm not on peaceful because I normally go on peaceful when I mine. Yes, I'm on peaceful, okay. Whenever I mine, I always go on peaceful in case, because I always take diamond stuff when I mine, because you never know, really. And um, it's annoying if you lose all of that, and I've fallen in lava a few times, and when I mined without peaceful mode, I um, normally get knocked into lava by like, skeletons or spiders or something. It was extremely annoying. Um, that's not the full tour of my house yet. I also have this here. The door looks amazing, doesn't it? It looks beautiful there. I have um this bit up here, this bit took. Um it wouldn't it didn't take too long to make it, it was just really hard. As you can guess, because you can't really fly or anything. Nothing really too special, just a bit up here. The reason is why I had this, it actually came in handy, is because um, sometimes I get chased by so much stuff I have to go and hide. So um, that's where I go and hide, <laughs> basically, because nothing can get up there. And um, I just shoot stuff with a bow and arrow. And um, last but not least, but this one isn't really too good. I'll have to end up doing some work on this at one point. I grew this tree here, especially so I could have my own tree house. Yay. But there's nothing good in it. It's just a workbench. And that's it. Because you can't put beds on these or anything. So I'm going to have to change the floor at one point. So, um, anyway. That is everything I've made. I made that little bit there in case like a sheep or something walks in there be quite cool and um yeah so um i also will try be giving some tips for you guys on like how to survive quite well and all that. do i have any oh, i have bread on me okay eat some bread I haven't even eaten bread it hopefully it regenerates quite a bit of your hunger expect to come out anyway gonna give this video is basically just gonna be me giving some tips i guess not really doing too much at the moment just give some tips and all that so basically um what i'd like to recommend is make a farm now if you don't know how to make a farm it's really easy i might i'll probably do a tutorial on it at some point it doesn't have to be a glass farm you don't even have to have it in a room at all you can have it outside wherever you really want it I've just picked a glass room so that it looks it just looks cooler that way. Um so basically what you need to do is um right I'll start off with a bit basic is over here right you will see there's not much here because I destroyed most of it but you see these sort of plants like um sometimes when you destroy them come on give me one of you um two seconds guys Sometimes when you just destroy them, like seeds and stuff will come out. For some reason, none of these give me seeds. Alright, like that. Um, you pick that up, and um, you need to make a hoe, which is quite simple to make a hoe, to be honest. If I have like enough stuff on me I can quickly show you how to make one really quick. Um right, jump in here. Just I have enough stuff, I have enough sticks. I'll get something out of a chest. I'll probably have I have so much poo in my chest. Right, I can make a stone one. Basically what you do is you put a stick there. 
get whatever material you want. Oh wait, no, there's meant to be two sticks, sorry. And then you've put it like that and then get a hoe. I'm not going to take that because I have a diamond hoe. So um, I'm set for that because that won't die for ages. Um, and basically what you want to do is um, you want to get a bucket of water. Um, it fell down. If you don't know how to make a bucket, um, I'll just show you again. I'll just jump in it and jump back in and show you. Um, jump in. Oh, I missed it. I hate it when that happens. Sorry about that, guys. Um, right. Just get back in there. Alright. Basically, what you have to do is get some iron and put it there, and you have a bucket. And then you can go fill that up with water by going up some water and right clicking on it. And it will fill the bucket up with water, which, you know, quite helpful to do. Hold down shift so I can get really close to the edge. Oh, oh no, I missed. <laughs> anyway. So, you can do this. Right, once you've done that, oh, to actually farm, I'll show you out here so I don't mess anything up in there. You want to get your hoe out and um, right click and you get something that looks a bit like that. And then basically what you want to do is get some seeds and you put your seeds in there. Now nothing's going to happen to that because it's just now I just destroyed it. But um, then what you want to do is you want to like build a little ditch around it like that. You know, whatever, however you want it. And then that's where you'll put the bucket of water. Well, all the water. You can just build it next to some water as well. And that's how, like, you can plant stuff. And then, um, basically, once you've done that, like I have in here, you get the ones that look yellow. Now it's good when you destroy them, you get seeds, so you don't have to keep looking for seeds. And you get wheat. And the reason is why farming is so helpful. You might think, oh, you don't have to go. Um, wheat is actually really helpful. I'm not sticking to farming. Because you can make bread from wheat. And if you make bread, then you're not really going to, like, start starving and everything, are you? Now, um, I'm not going to um get all of these in here because that's just a bit of a waste of time and you don't really want to see me get all of them because that would take quite a while it took me a while just to get them to be honest anyway now i'm basically to make some bread all you really have to do is um it's really simple actually not complicated really. Um, instead of explaining it, I'll just show you, because that will help more. Because, um, I'd like in them. Is, to, uh, get the wheat that you just collected and just put it in a row like that. And boom, you have bread. And that's really helpful, because then you don't have to worry about going around killing stuff to get, like, bread and that. You can just, not bread, um, just, like, food in general on this game. You can just get it like that and stuff, which is quite cool. And also, you might wonder how I've done this next bit. This next bit is quite cool, if you ask me. Right, so if I run over here, avoid that. Oh, Enderman, go away. Was it an Enderman just right there? At least I think it was an Enderman. Right, a creeper. I hate creepers. Now, I blow up and I eat it. Oh, damn it. What I want to do is show them some things that attacking me. Oh. Oh. Boom! Die skeleton. You guys that are wondering um, how long it took me to get to level 33, it doesn't really take that long to be honest. It's quite short. 
You ain't gonna take that long. Took me about an hour. Anyway, you guys probably wonder what the hell have I done next? This is the water. Here, there's water. And now I've managed to build a house in here. So it's not filled up the whole time and it's surrounded by glass. Now, the way you do this, guys, is um, you put. Go away. Get away from my house. That I spent so long on building. Get away. Um, I'll just casually explain it now. You wait for that creeper to go away. Yeah, fall into the water and get trapped. Because, um, you put glass around here where you want it and build it however you want it. Then what you want to do is get some dirt and you fill the whole thing up with dirt up to the top so that the dirt is covering the whole water, every single bit of it. Then once you destroy the dirt, the dirt soaks up all the water and there's no more water in here. And it's all really dry. So then I've got a nice little underwater house as well. So that was quite simple to do to be honest, didn't really take me too long. I'm trying to get out of here quick because I'm worried the creepers still come out. Ow! Spider! Spider shouldn't be left here. Alright. Kill the spider. I'm really like hand in this game. Where's the skeleton go? Ow! Where'd it go? I can't see it guys. I don't really know what to do with them. <laughs> so I've like, made everything you could desire. I've made everything you can with diamonds except for a block of diamonds. But that's not really worth making, to be honest, is it? I think it is. I think since I'm flying out tips everywhere, I'm not flying out another tip right here. Um, Right, you see my sex 
actually how to do this quite good at dark match room ish, not really. Right, there's a creeper there. Okay. So say that hill the creeper was on was my house. You know, I'm I really don't want my house to blow up. I spent forever to get it and I don't want it to blow up. What you need to do is try to get the creeper's attention without getting too close. Like, I'm getting quite close here, but like it, walk away and try to get it to sort of follow you. Or just make sure it doesn't blow up all. See look, it's starting to follow me now. See look. So that was my house there. I've got it away from my house. And that could be quite helpful. Instead of like wandering hit the see what's true. You know, that's really helpful. Always make sure you have two people when I do go adventuring. And if you go running your own house and um you need your house back up. I know you of you pretty much know this, but there might be other <laughs> Um if you have full hunger, your um house is gonna increase and heal you. Um that's quite helpful as well and um I'm not sure if there's really anything else to cover. Oh yeah, the mining. I was meant to cover that. But basically, I'm not going to do loads now. But find a spot that you want. It doesn't matter where really. As long as it's not really near water. Because then you can flood yourself. But um, why am I using that? I'm just going to do it dirt. For dirt, I'm going to use shovels or something like that. And basically you want to go down like this. See how I'm going down? It's like steps. So you can step back up. And you don't have to have anything else. Which is really, really helpful. For some, you know, it's just quite easy to get like all sorts of stuff. And I'll probably stop when I get to like iron ores or coal or something. So you know, look, and you get a lot of cobblestone from this as well. And cobblestone is quite helpful, actually. So if you build your house out of cobblestone, if lava gets dropped on that house or something, somehow, I don't know how it would, but you know, just in case your house gets set on fire, have you accidentally dropped a bucket of lava in there because you're a moron, nah, or something like that, then, um, I'm just saying it ain't gonna burn, I don't think. I don't know, I'm not that smart at Minecraft, I just know I'm good at it. <laughs> at least. So yeah, you should keep going down. I'm not gonna go down much more, do like this last bit. You keep going down, look, you end up getting a nice tunnel which you can get up, out of, and in easily. That sounded really wrong. <laughs> and stuff like that, which is really easy, and there's some fluff just blew on my screen. So, you know, stuff like that's really, really easy if you think about it. And, um, see, look, they have a little tunnel down there. You can light some torches down there if you don't like to make torches. Yeah, it's really easy, you know, Because all you need is. I'll make a quick four now. Stick there. Coal there. Torch. See? So that's simple guys and finding coal isn't too hard either that's just everywhere anyway so i hope you enjoyed my um video on well tips of everything to be honest <laughs> um will be my next minecraft video which i'll probably do in a minute because i'm bored <laughs> no, i'm not really bored it's quite fun making these videos is um i'll probably do some survival and just go about how i would normally do or i might do like uh, what we call it? I can't remember the name now. Oh yeah, like some tips. Not tips. Like that was this video. I'm silly. I'm not really that tired, and I don't know why it's ten past three in the morning. Though, if it's like, so you know. But um, yeah, my next video it might be like how to get diamond really easy or something like that. And I'll start a new survival for all my sort of tips to show that you can do it when you start off straight away. So um, anyway guys, hope you really enjoyed this video, rate it, comment, like, subscribe, I'm not going to say you have to do that, but you know, if you think it was good enough and it helps you, then 
go ahead and um bye bye guys